Today my topic is about is a brief review of the control method for the permanent magnetic synchronous motors. The permanent magnetic synchronous motors is uh, is widely used in the industry for its own benefits, such as high power density, high efficiency, faster dynamic, and good compatibility. And for this. But the PMSM is behavior with a highly nonlinearity. So for this, a lot of researchers have designed a lot of nonlinear control scheme to help the engineer to implement the controller. The first we will discuss is the is the PID controller, which is the most widely used in the industry, and the second is the adaptive control which is very useful when we need a controller to compensate the parameter uncertainty of the system. And the third is a backstabbing controller. This is a controller design method which makes the controller design much more simple. And, uh, and then it's sliding model. A sliding model is actually, a sliding model is a robust controller algorithm and which made the system be robust to the which made the system be robust robust to the to the external dist distance or and the and the modeling uncertainty but but this control algorithm require highly but actually, it's infinite, infinite response frequency. So a lot of researchers have taken with this problem and to make the sliding mode control to be more practical to implement. And lastly, the neural network control and the fuzzy control. The reason I put them together is that both of them could be used for approximating the an unknown nonlinear function within a given bounded errors. This is this characteristic is very useful when we design nonlinear control, and especially when we when we don't know what's the when we don't know how is the nonlinearity. And sometimes if we can linearize it, we will use adaptive control. But sometimes we can't linearize it. So then a neural network control or from the fuzzy control could be used. And next, next uh, this is um, PMS, uh, topic PMS model that we get from our course. And, and I just uh, converted it into a state space function. And uh, so it's more clear for us to see the property of the system. But we can see that the, the nonlinearity here, ax times x, and there's a there's a state in in uh, ax. So there will be states coupling, and and this is this will make the controller. This will make the controller design much more complicated. And U is a uh, control input, and is defined of uh, the um, Q and D and Q axis voltage. Here D we take it as uh, a dis external disturbance or uh, the disturbance, and here we just define it, define it as the uh, load torque. Actually, it could be in, uh, a lot. It could be a lot of other things like the uh, internal disturbance, like. The uh, modeling errors, mo modeling uncertainty, the parameter uncertainty. Uh, whoa, whoa, this we can put in a D. And f the first the control algorithm I will talk about the PID. Actually, and the PID has a lot of advantage. The first is uh, n n such a simple structure and it could be understood intuitively. And uh, it just has three control parameters and it will be very easy for the engineer to tune. Actually, actually on the other aspect, the parameter tune is a, is a time-consuming and tedious work. It depends a lot on the experience of the engineer. 
but sometimes it's it's maybe impossible to find a good parameter to meet the requirements of our of our system response. So for this reason, a lot of researchers proposed uh, some algorithm to search for the uh, PID parameters automatically. And here I just uh, take this paper as an exam and. Uh, in this paper, a genetic algorithm is introduced to search for the PID parameters. And this, the GA, the GA is very useful when dealing with um, global minimiz minimization problems. So the, the author convert the PID parameter searching problem into a, uh, into a, uh, uh, minimization problem we can see here and this is a system modeling as we can see this is this model is similar to the model we got from our course and there's also honey there's also honey learning area here and this gm tutor bm tutor is a system parameter it depends on uh, it depends on the uh, inertia and this, it could be bounded by some constant, and uh, and the tr in order to cancel out the nonlinearity, the control input is designed in this form, and we can see the second term of the VDS, I mean the omega R times LS AQS, could be used to cancel out the nonlinearity in the dynamic in the dynamic equation. And so other with the terms in VQS. Uh, after that, the system will be transformed into a linear system. So now the linear system is so. Uh, it, for a linear system, we have lots of linear control tools to help us to design the control the controller. The first they what they do is convert the system into a transfer function and. For transfer function, it's very easy to to judge is that the system is, sta is stable. We can just uh, see where is the power of the transfer function. And this transfer function is uh, from is a transfer function from the the desired angular trajectory omega i m star to the omega r m. And then uh, the second transfer function is. Um, error transfer function is uh, the, the transfer function is from the input 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 disturbance that means the torque and to the to the angular errors and it also can could be obtain, uh, obtained in this form we can see the parameter of the PID control uh, it appears in this in the uh, denominator of the transfer function so that means when we design the PID control parameters, we will have a big impact on the stability of the system, which is the biggest concern of our control design. Here we just uh, then the, the GA, the genetic algorithm, is introduced to find the parameters. There's a two criterion that the first is in a the, the, the post the roots of the denominator of the transfer function ms. The second is uh, in the boundaries of the errors. Most of the time, we count that in the asymptotically sta stability, but we can guarantee that in the, the error will be converged into a sm very small label food of the of origin. So we just replace the uh, uh, only of error are here. We can set R very small and we can try use the genetic algorithm to find the suitable PID parameters. And so of this then there will be use a cost cost function determine the possibility behavior of the parameters and then after the several basic operate of the genetic algorithm, we will get the next generation, and at last, when the parameter 
satisfy the the failure goal. That means the the error will be less than or very small. Bonus we will find uh, the right PID parameters. Then they apply the parameter to the simulation model and get the response in in this figure. We can see the angular velocity could be could follow, could, could follow the desired trajectory in a very fast speed in less than 0.1 seconds. And this is their exper experiment results. And so the result is even much better than the simulation results. And then I will talk about some some control method that's derived from the backstabbing and with the fuzzy adaptive uh, fuzzy tracking control. Here is very I think this is this this period is very interesting. And they also give the system model in this form and it's um, it's similar to the what we get in our course and there's a little difference. And then they run they run the system into the following state space equation and uh, with setting the T L and U Q to zero and that means they just uh, simplify the program, but and uh, take the UD, UD is the uh, DXS voltage as the only variable as the input of the system. So then we can say from the uh, stress space equation, there will be in the, in the, in the relative degree of the system is 3, that means we have to take the derivative of x1 three times to get the UD, and that is that is what the backstabbing doing for the exact system. So the, they, then when they apply the backstabbing control design, and the first step define z1 to equal to x1 minus xd. xd is the desired trajectory, the desired, desired angular trajectory angular speed trajectory. So this is the uh, error. Actually, Z1 is the error single, uh, and it's what is the you know, most uh, important thing that we are concerned. So first we define on the upper function V1 as, uh, as in this form, and take the right of V1, V1. And uh, so, and as we, we know, and uh, as we know that we have to make sure that V1 dot be negative. What we can do is, Set is taking the x2 as a virtual control input and a design x2 in this form. And we, what we can what we also can get z2 equal to x2 minus alpha 1. And after, after sub, substitute, substitute this equation into the v1 data, we can get the v1 is in this form. So we have to deal with the second term in v1 dot. Then with the definition of Z two, we take derivative of we we take the derivative of V two. We can get the dynamic the dynamic of Z two in this in this equation, and we also define a uh, upper function and that combine with V one, and then take derivative of V two, and then we was the same was as we as they did before. X three was taken as the virtual con virtual control. So, and X three is and Z three is def defined according according to the X three and which makes the V two dot be part of the V two dot be negative definite. So what we have to deal with is the left terms in the V two dot, and on the step three. We we take a derived derivative of Z three and we also define the near upper function of V three that combine with the V two and take a derivative of V three and get the near function in this form. But now we find that <coughs> F three is a very complex function. Why? Because now you can you can see here there's x alpha two dot in in the f three, so we can see alpha two dot is equal to equal to this part 
when we take the derivative, they will, it will be extremely complex. So we can't deal with it with traditional control. Here, the, the authors of this paper introduced the father logic system. And this system, as we, as we mentioned before, the fuzzy logic function could be used to approximate any continuous nonlinear function and when taking as the taking a state as the inputs. And uh, here, the data three is the approximation errors, which could be bounded by some given constant. Then, so, then the control you did is defined in this form, and this part, the, the last terms of the UD is the, actually is the estimation of the of the W three transpose time S G, and the theta is the, the theta head is the estimation of the W three norm square. And the last the, the last neighbor function is given in this form. Uh, gamma theta and the theta theta is uh, is the parameter esti estimation error. After we take a derivative of this neighbor function, we can get the uh, we can easily find that uh, we have to design a uh, parameter update law in this form to make the uh, weight dot be put be more put be more negative definite. Here we can see weight dot in this form, and firstly is the positive is a negative definite term, and the second is a constant, and the third is the boundaries of the arrows. So this. The third uh, image three square it could be bounded by some constant, and then the gamma head, and then the last two terms, are uh, negative definite. So, and um, what we can, and this is not negative definite, but from this we can get a tubular, a tubular goal that in the system states will be still bounded in a very small neighborhood of origin. Sometimes is the net will be net is already enough for the real application. So they they gave the, their results. This is a system with out control. There's a lot of chaotic chaotic behavior of the response of the system you can see here. And after that, they just uh, apply the control to the system. And this, at first, the omega 3 responds very quickly to the desired, desired trajectory. And, and uh, on about 15 seconds, and then they just uh, change the desired trajectory of omega to be 7. And then, the system also responds very quickly and follow the trajectory in in less than two seconds. So both of these results I demonstrate the effectiveness of the controller. Here we just uh, take the two of the control method of a uh, control method to discuss here. Actually, in my brief review paper, I have. I have also, I also introduce a W control for the PMSM. So there's more details ab about the, this control algorithm in my brief review paper. Thank you so much.